Hey guys, so today's video is going to be both my morning and nighttime skincare routine. This is one of my favorite videos to watch because I'm always interested in improving my skin. I'm not going to lie, I have been very blessed with clear skin. I really don't get breakouts maybe once every month, once every other month, and it's just the occasional pimple here and there. Um, I do have a slight form of rosacea, so if my cheeks always look rosy, that is why. It is a mild case, but it is still rosacea. But overall, my parents just must have had very good genes, and I don't mean that to be conceited in any way, shape, or form, but I am very proud of not only the skin I have been born with, but the way I treat my skin to make sure it will always look that way and to preserve its youth. So I want to make this video as quick as possible because I'm actually hurrying up to go to a job interview, so fingers crossed for me, I'll let you guys know how that goes. So that being said, let me move along. So in the morning, I always use this Facial Cleansing Invigorating Face Wash. This is just by the Target brand. It's comparable to the Clean and Clear Cleanser. I love any face washes with these little beads in it if you guys can see because they just pop as you're you know rubbing it into your skin it just gives you a nice boost and really wakes you up and what's nice about this is that it just foams like crazy you just need one pump and I swear you could like almost wash your whole body with one pump so I really like this I think it's almost better than the cleaning clear version from what I can tell now. As you can see, I haven't used that much of it, but what I have used, I really love. Now, after I cleanse my face in the morning, I just apply a moisturizer. The one I'm currently using is this Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. It says it's for clear, even looking skin help breakouts, and it's with Total Soy Complex. I really like this because it's so thick in the sense that it's almost like a nighttime moisturizer, but it's perfect for the day because within like, I'd say three minutes, completely sinks into my skin and it doesn't make me become oily throughout the day. So this has just been awesome for my skin. It's just, it's really hydrating and that's what I think my skin was missing. That's all I do for the morning. I try and keep my morning routine very simple because I focus a lot of my time at night. So, that being said, the most important thing you need to know about your skincare routine is fully taking off your makeup. So right now I'm using the Yes to Carrots. These are the hypoallergenic facial towelettes. These smell so good. They smell like cucumber melon. Um, and it's what's nice is they have these little flaps so they don't dry out. Another tip is if you store it upside down, all the moisture will sink to the bottom so you won't have your wipes drying out on you. Before I hop in the shower, I will remove my makeup with this. And then with my eye makeup, I'll use the cloths and this eye makeup remover and take off my eye makeup. And no, this is not the Neutrogena brand. This is just water and olive oil that I made myself. And you just shake it up and apply it just like you would the Neutrogena. I just kept the bottle and I've been reusing this with the olive oil and the water. This is the third time I've gone through olive oil and water and it works just as amazing, if not better, than the Neutrogena. You don't have to pay $8 for another eye makeup remover, and it's all natural, which is great. You should always switch to all natural products if you can. The nighttime face wash I'm using is the Michael Todd Cleanse and Tone. What's nice about this is it's a cleanser and toner in one. It says cleans, tones, and neutralizes impurities normal to oily and combination skin. I like this. The smell is a little odd. If you guys have this, you know what I'm talking about. It's a little chalky or a little ashy smelling. But overall, I think it does a good job and it really deep cleans my face, which I like. Although it already says it tones, I like toning on top of that because I don't think that people get their makeup off enough and I think that's the reason why a lot of people have breakouts. You know, I put bronzer, um, you know, down to my chest to blend out my face. So if you just take off your makeup wipes like this, you're still going to have makeup under there. And I think that's why a lot of people break out in their chin area because they're not fully taking it off. I still tone my face after I use that. And I just use, you know, any cotton rounds and a toner. The toner I'm currently using is this deep cleaning toner by Clean and Clear. Just squirt a little bit and then I apply it all over my face. And you will see my cotton round still has makeup on it. And it's just like, when is this crap going to get off my face? So after I tone, after I cleanse, I'll apply my moisturizer. This is the Olay Night of Olay. This is a really thick cream. If you guys are just sitting at home doing nothing, 
I really suggest you throw in a really thick moisturizer at night because in the morning I've noticed such a difference in my skin. It just looks so healthy and so radiant and it just looks moisturized. You can really tell that this cream is doing a great job so I highly recommend you check out Olay. Olay has been you know well known for their skincare so their creams are awesome. My nighttime eye cream is this Michael Todd Organics Intensive Organic Eye Cream. I don't like this little pump that it comes with, but I do just squirt a little bit in my fingers and then I rub underneath and around my eyes. Under eye skin is the most sensitive skin on your face, so you really need to make sure you treat it. You know, if you apply makeup a lot, you're always tugging, you're always pushing, you know, you just, you need to treat it. And plus, I don't want crow's feet or wrinkles coming in a couple years, so I'm hoping that this prevents it. If I decide not to use my nighttime moisturizer, I will use a serum, which is just kind of a little bit more advanced than a cream. It's just a little more concentrated. Two ones that I love are the Michael Todd Concentrated C Antioxidant Moisturizing Serum. This hydrates, restores, and fortifies skins, but this is for every skin tone except oily. So if you have oily skin, I wouldn't recommend this. And my all-time personal favorite is this Beauty Men Ultra Replenishing Serum. This is with marine collagen. This is Jessica Simpson's skincare line, and ugh, this serum works like a dream. It makes my face so smooth, so silky afterwards. So if you think your skin's needing a boost, maybe pick up a serum. Now once or twice a week, I will use a face mask. The two I have are the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. This just helps with blackheads and it just, you know, makes your face soft afterwards. And then the Michael Tog Pearl and Silk Facial Mask, which does the same thing. It gently exfoliates, hydrates, normal to dry, mature, and sensitive skin. So I would recommend if you're having breakouts or you just think your skin, again, needs a boost, I would start incorporating a mask about once or twice into your skincare routine. Once or twice a week. Now I do use a couple treatments, one of them being this uh, brightening eye roller. This is Yes to Blueberries, it's an age refresh product. What's nice about this is it has the gel roller ball. So in the morning if I just think my under eyes look really bad, they look really dark, or I just look like I haven't slept, I'll apply this and it just really helps wake you up. It smells great and the little metal ball is so cold against your under eyes and it just feels amazing. If I think that my nose is getting a lot of whiteheads or blackheads, I will use this deep cleansing pore strips. These are just like the Biore ones, but again, the Walgreens brand. If you're a smart consumer, you will check the ingredients and see that the Up and Up brand, the Walgreens brand, they are just the same as the commercialized brands. They're just cheaper. Same exact ingredients, just half the price. So, I like these. These are a good product. And the last thing I use is this benzoyl peroxide again. Walgreens brand. It's just a gel. If you have a random pimple, you know, you could just apply that overnight and it'll help clear it away in the morning. Another thing is if, again, you just have a random breakout, just take a little bit of a mask and just spot treat it because that helps really well too. So I hope you guys enjoyed my skincare routine. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I do have a video for my five tips to healthy glowy skin, so I'll post that down below too. There's a lot of tips and tricks in there that I really think you guys would benefit from watching. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more. I'll talk to you later. Mwah.